I was able to collect responses from 198 participants. This is so much more than a table filled with random doodles. These doodles just might be the secret to a happy life. Do you think you really figured out the key to happiness? I think in a sense I did. A bold statement for a high school senior, but Bella Howard is not your average senior. The University of Chicago, Northeastern, the University of Texas at Austin, Tulane, Case Western, Fordham. That's a partial list of the colleges where she's been accepted. She mentioned Tulane University. That's how this whole finding the key to happiness happened. With an empty box acting as my conduit, I designed a social experiment to identify what causes happiness in society today. For a scholarship application, Bella produced a five minute video on her month long experiment. She visited all ages of people in all parts of her community and asked them to draw what makes them happy. This is the teenage age group and when you look at it, you can really see more like physical things like this person loves books, this person loves drawing, this person loves Spider-Man. She analyzed the results by age. Whenever people got older, they really loved their loved ones more and their experiences with those people. The children said donuts and candy make them happy. The adults said family. As you mature, your sources of happiness really change to something more meaningful in a sense. Her experiment landed her a Dean's Honors Scholarship from Tulane University, which means four years of free tuition and fees. A private university, out of state, full ride, especially in the area that she wants to go into is pretty exciting. I'm proud for her, I really am. Bella plans to go to med school and plans to be a doctor, but she doesn't have to plan to be happy. It's not the money I'm going to make that's gonna matter, it's gonna be the people I help and the lives I touch with my skills that I will gain. She's got happiness figured out. In Grand Prairie, I'm Teresa Woodard. You know what made me happy? A weekend without rain, Pete.